Mariusz Malinowski w podróży. Dzień dobry. Witam w moim drugim domu w Ameryce. Dzisiaj chciałbym przedstawić Wam wyjątkowy wywiad z Brianem. To jest mój przyjaciel. To właśnie z nim i z jego żoną mieszkam tutaj w Stanach. To oni pomogli mi rozpocząć mój amerykański sen. I tym wywiadem chciałbym Wam pokazać, jak czasem przypadkowa wizyta w Polsce w 2003 roku po kilkunastu latach może przynieść bardzo wiele przygód. Brian, when and why did you visit Poland? Uh, I went to Poland twice when I was in high school uh, with my church group. Uh, we ran an English camp for Polish students and young adults. How was it? It was awesome. We uh, I made some great relationships. Um, it was amazing to see some cities and stuff. We visited Krakow both times um, and we saw Auschwitz, which is an experience I'll never forget. Um, and like I said, I met a lot of cool people and you really just fell in love with Poland and Polish people, Polish food. Um, so experiences I'll always remember. Your trip was in 2004? Uh, yeah, I believe 2003 and 2004. So why Poland? You know, it's not very famous direction, especially 2003-2004. Uh, they were trips with my church. I really didn't pick that I was going to Poland. It was a trip that um, our youth group partnered with a company called Josiah Venture um, in Poland. They're in Poland and I think Ukraine. And we ran English camps with Josiah Venture in Poland. So. I didn't choose Poland, but Poland chose me, and I really, like I said, fell in love with Poland. So. What surprised you in my country? Um, several things. I think the cities were very interesting to see. Um, Krakow, Krakow Square is so different from any American city, so I think that was um, very interesting seeing you know, the sidewalks and the roads and, and all the vendors and all the old buildings and stuff. We don't have anything like that in America like that. So uh, that was very surprising. Um, the other thing that was very surprising uh, to me and also all the other Americans on the trip were Polish people and their personalities. Um, everyone has such a stern face <laughs> and it, it, they almost look angry all the time and stuff. But once you uh, talk and they realize you're an American, they want to talk with you and practice their English or they want to talk about politics or whatever. So I think uh, it's very common. I think I've heard from a lot of e European countries in general that people are just kind of cold and standoffish. But once you get to know them, Polish people I found are very friendly and very fun. You tell me one time some story about when you visit Baltic Sea. Mm -hmm. What surprised you there? <laughs> yeah, and oh, we visited. Uh, Karpacz, I believe the first year that I was there was the English camp, and then the second year we were in Pobiorowo, and uh, that was a big shock for everyone of the Americans that everyone was wearing Speedos. <laughs> speedos. <laughs> um, some Europeans had uh, American style bathing suits, but almost everyone had Speedos, and that's not something we're used to in America. <laughs> <laughs> when you was in Poland, you visit my city, Zielona Góra. Uh, Polish cross Polish German border, two hours to Berlin. Um, you met Alex. Uh, Alex is very important person uh, because I travel with him. You met Alex 12 years before our trip around the world. Correct. Um, Alex was in one of the advanced English speaking groups uh, in the English camps, um, and I'm not sure. I believe I roomed with him at the English camp. Um, just one of the years, but I made a great friendship with him um, while I was there. He's a very fun guy, very loud, fun personality, um, and him and I became very good friends while we were there. So probably when you met Alex, you didn't expect what's going to happen in future with no. your Polish relation. Oh, <laughs> uh, probably Doug's going to want to go outside, right? Sure. <laughs> Copper violet. Come on.
Alex, he's uh, my friend. I travel with him around the world. We met in a uh, radio station and someday he texts to me, Marius, I would like to travel with you around the world. And we together drive around the world. We travel around the world. Uh, Alex, uh, he's my friend, he's your friend. Tell me more about relation uh, with Alex. Um, like I said, I met Alex at the English camp. Um, he was in the advanced class, um, so he was very fluent in English. And we talked a lot. Um, one thing that was really cool about him was just his personality. We stayed up almost every night at English camp, just talking and hanging out till late in the morning since we roomed together that second year. And uh, it was awesome just to hang out with him and stuff. So uh, when he joined you on your trip, I didn't know anything about it until he texted me and he said, uh, Brian, it's been so long, we were friends on Facebook, uh, and he said, it's been so long, but I'm coming to America. And I said, awesome, when are you coming? He goes, now, I'm in, I'm in California. <laughs> I was like, wow, exciting. Like, and so I started asking him questions, and he said he was on a trip around the world, um, and he was joining you and your team um, during the American, uh, the North America version of that, part of that trip, so. Did you be surprised? this message you know, um, your old friend texts you something like that it was yeah, a surprise for you it was a surprise uh, we were friends on Facebook but we never really talked at all on Facebook and stuff it was just okay so first thing what did you do uh, when when you know we are gonna visit your home did you um, did you been stressed or you yeah start <laughs> thinking I have to buy a lot of vodka because they come from Poland. Um, I didn't know what to expect. It was a, it was very interesting. I had asked him if he was going to come through Denver, and he said that they were. Um, so we offered our home, my wife and I, to to you guys to stop by and, and shower or sleep for a night or two or whatever. And um, it was very nice to have you guys in our home. We didn't know what to expect, and it was <laughs> lots of fun stories. <laughs> Uh, I remember when you guys first showed up, uh, you had brought food <laughs> that you made the night before um, and never got a chance to eat or, or maybe you ate part of it or something, but you came to our house with this pot and I thought, ooh, it must be some sort of Polish stew or, or something or whatever, and it turns out they were just eating so cheap that... <laughs> it was travel food, because when we travel, we ate a lot of pasta and a lot of rice. Yeah. It was rice, the cheapest rice, with the cheapest sausages. <laughs> That's what was, we ate when we traveled, because we didn't have too much money. I believe it was <laughs> hot dogs, rice, and like tomato soup all together and I was expecting some wonderful Polish dish and it was literally just <laughs> rice, <laughs> tomato soup and hot dogs so it was interesting but uh, we had a great time you guys um, all were very fun to hang out with initially and uh, it was a good time. <clears throat> yeah we spent together Christmas your family your family's hospitality was amazing and still it is uh, actually what did you say your family and why they invite us to Christmas to enjoy Christmas together? Yeah, um, you guys ended up staying longer than we initially planned just because there was a snowstorm and that was totally fine with us. We enjoyed um, you guys having been here and um, it was just you guys were going to be there for Christmas and so we thought it'd be cool to experience Polish Christmas and American Christmas and um, so we were able to um, participate with you guys on Christmas Eve for kind of a traditional Polish Christmas, and we uh, we ate borscht and uh, pierogi, yeah. pierogi, and and I don't remember all the foods you had. Uh, eggs with mayonnaise. Eggs with mayonnaise, <laughs> of course. Uh, but I think we just wanted to show you an American Christmas, and so I'd asked my family, and they said that they'd love to have you guys, and so um, the five of you joined us for our Christmas with my family. So. After Christmas, we went to Louisiana, Key West, Chicago, and our point was visit Alaska. When our trip was over, we back to Denver and we celebrate together your and Sammy's wedding. Yeah, um, the way that the dates of your trip ended up working out, it it worked out perfectly that you guys were back in Denver the week right before our wedding. So we invited you guys to the wedding and made room on the guest list and and that was an awesome experience we told all of our friends that we'd have five polish people at our wedding and <laughs> and they were all you know 
excited for that and it was a great party and um, it was a great time having you guys there at the at the wedding after wedding Brian and Sammy they went to Mexico and Brian said guys no worries you can drink all beers <laughs> 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 and we understood we can. Yes, we can. I and didn't it, say anything about drinking all the beers. I think that might have been someone else. Probably Sammy's mom said like I that. I think Sammy's mom said something about someone that. Someone said like that <laughs> and actually... When I got home from Mexico, all my beer was gone. <laughs> <laughs> Shit happens. <laughs> that's, what, that's one thing, what can I say? We had an amazing party after wedding with Sammy's moms and Brian's friends. I want to tell you more, but I don't remember everything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go shopping. Alright. One year after my trip around the world, I decided to move to the United States and I text to Brian and say me, message, can you help me? What did you think? We were a little surprised when you texted us, but I think um, we'd made such a good relationship while you were here, even though you're, we only were together for maybe two weeks or a little over two weeks total, all the time that you were in Denver. So. I think when you texted us, it was a little bit of a surprise, but we became very good friends over that <laughs> short period of time. So um, I think we were open to the idea of you visiting and spending some time with us. I think we said something about you could stay with us for a couple weeks or a month. And when you got here, we realized very quickly that it was going to work out. And if you wanted to stay much longer, 18 you months. could. <laughs> 18 months. Yeah, now. it's been 18 months now. So yeah, you helped me so much. You. I use your car when I didn't have my yeah. broke Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, my car when I, my first car in the United States was yeah. almost every day broke. Yeah. <laughs> we like to help people. We've always loaned out our extra vehicle to somebody who needs it. And I think helping you get started in America was cool to be a part of. And um, now you have a nice car and a good job, and you're. Yeah, you, your friends were surprised when you explained, oh, we have a Polish guy in the basement. <laughs> yeah, you came and visited and and we always joked that we had a, a Polish hostel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your friends joke, you have a Polish hostel because my parents live with you yeah. for four months. Um, yeah, you asked us if your parents could come and visit and we said sure and then you said for four months and we were like whoa that's <laughs> gonna be nice <laughs> that's a little bit longer than we were thinking at first but uh that was great i think roman and basha were great to have in our home they you know helped around the house and they were just so nice and um, i think we made them part of our family just like we've made you part of our family and and also they made me and sammy part of your family too and um i think that was a great experience just having them stay with us and and stuff so. yeah it was a lot of couple crazy things one time i back to home and my mom and my stepfather they play with brian and sammy cards yeah. <laughs> for quarters for money gambling <laughs> <laughs> that was funny and yeah. your communication was your conversation was funny because you speak a little polish they speak a little english now yeah but before yeah it was fun we, we taught them a lot of english just small words because we'd look up the Polish word on our phones and go back and forth and we use a lot of Google Translate and um, you know a applications where you type in whole sentences and it would translate it and then you press play and it would speak it in Polish to the other person so we were able to com communicate just fine uh, occasionally there were translation problems and, and stuff but um, when they when they were in in your home in your house, a lot of people visit your house. Pastor, yeah. your family, Sammy's family, your friends. I think it was very friendly time and you show your hospitality. A lot of people visit house. Yeah, we like to have people over. I think that's a big part of Sammy and I's life. We love to have parties and invite people over for food and just hanging out and um, especially having fun roommates, you know, <laughs> you and, and your parents and stuff like not too many people have Polish people living in their basement so <laughs> it, you know it's a good excuse to have people over to try Polish food and um, you know hear Polish music Roman played the guitar for us and and stuff so it was um, a great experience just to 
have other people experience that with us, I guess. <laughs> what was the most funny or crazy thing? Um, one thing I remember, I guess, with uh, Basha was uh, Prosha means <laughs> both please and you're welcome in Polish. And so she thought you're welcome also meant please. So when uh, we would help her with something or give her a glass, where you know, where are the plates? And we grab a plate and we give her a plate. She would say please <laughs> rather than, than, you know, thank you or you're welcome. She would say Prosha. <laughs> Or please. <laughs> so I, I think that was funny. Um, it was uh, some things was funny for me when you try talk together. Someone talk about something different. You talk about something different, and still you think you are communicate very good. Yeah. There were <laughs> someone talk some... about sky. Someone <laughs> talk about floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I agree with you. <laughs> there were definitely funny. there were definitely some times that we. Um, had communication problems, but uh, for the most part, I think the application did a good job of um, communicating what we wanted. And usually, even if it wasn't a perfect translation, we would always kind of understand what the other person was trying to get across. So, uh, but we had great conversations. We talked about um, health and diet and politics and religion, and uh, we had some great conversations with uh, Roman and Basha. So. It was great having them in our house. <laughs> yeah. It was a nice time. Yeah. Let's go. Thank you, Brian. You visit my channel. Actually, my channel at your home. So maybe I visit your home. I'm not sure now how it's correct. You have you have time to invite your friends to subscribe my channel. Sure. Uh, to everyone in Poland that I met while I was there and also all my friends here in America, uh, subscribe to Mariusz's channel, MM on a Journey and uh, check out all his videos. He's been all over the world and has lots of cool stories to, to show. So check him out. Thank you, Brian. You're welcome. Mariusz Malinowski w podróży. Dużo zdrowia. Dużo zdrowia.